Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. You know, we've been doing a lot of looking at Chrome OS Flex here on this channel, but I was kind of interested to see how it compared to uh, actual Chrome OS, which I've never used before. And so I, uh, I wanted to pick up a Chromebook, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So I went online and I found the cheapest one I could get. And it is this, the Lenovo 10e Chromebook. And it's a tablet. And we're gonna go take a look at that right now. So here's kind of what this thing looks like. It's pretty basic, no frills. It's got a, a USB-C port for your charging and connectivity, a headphone jack, volume rocker, power, two uh, speaker grills on the front, and a connector here to connect to its little accessory keyboard, which I also picked up for uh, $30, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I think those are the microphones on top. It's got the front-facing camera, the rear-facing camera, all in all, the build quality of this thing is just okay. I mean, it's nothing I'd write home to my mom about, but uh, it doesn't feel chintzy or anything. Although I did almost kind of damage it already, <laughs> trying to take it out of the keyboard case that I got, which we will talk about in a little bit. But um, the first thing I want to do here is go ahead and show you the quality of the built-in cameras. It has the two, the one on the front, and then the one on the back. And um, I believe the one on the back is a 1080p camera, and the one on the front, 720p camera. Interesting choice, in my opinion, it should be the other way around. But let's go ahead and uh, see a sample of the quality on both of these cameras. Alright, so here we are checking out the front-facing webcam, as well as the uh, speakers and, or I mean the microphone and whatnot. This is what kind of quality you'll get if you're doing a... Uh, like a video conferencing. Now, one thing I have to say that um, I went to record this video, started up the tablet, camera didn't work at all. It's like, what's going on here? The thing's already broken. So I got on the uh, the internets there and looked it up. Apparently, on some Chromebooks, there's a problem with Chrome OS 98 and 99, where on some devices the camera wouldn't work. So what I had to do is. Um, switch this thing to the beta channel and update to Chrome OS 100 and now I can record again. So I don't know. That's that's what was up. If you end up with one of these and your camera doesn't work, you might have to switch over to the beta channel. But now let's take a look at the rear camera which is 1080p evidently. If I didn't mention it before, this one's a 720p. Alright, here I am shooting from the rear camera, kind of looking at my laptop that I have Chrome OS Flex on and maybe I'll kind of look around the office here even though it says it's higher resolution I mean this is this looks bad just on the preview here maybe the recording will look better I doubt it there's my 3d printer let's take a look outside it's a gloomy day so there's nothing much to see out there but uh yeah I wouldn't use this camera for anything uh take a look at the office here there's the workstation. Focusing's really slow, but um, yeah, this camera's bad. Like, it might as well not even be on the device. Focusing, having troubles focusing on anything. So uh, yeah, that's that's a rear camera for you. Hopping back over to the lower resolution front camera for a minute. Um, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is switch over to screen recording and kind of show you the uh, responsiveness and the interface of this device. Now this one is using Chrome OS in tablet mode, which I had not tried before on uh, Flex, and it's a little different. It reminds me a lot of Android, and I don't know how to embed my uh, picture on it, so you'll just hear my voice. It, it'll probably be better, actually, not having to see me. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, interface of this thing. Hi guys, um, here's the here I am on the uh, Chromebook itself. This is my second time making this video. I had this big, long, beautiful demonstration made when I went through all the stuff. I went through Android apps and everything. And uh, then at the end, when I was going through and editing all my video clips together, uh, the video was all jacked up. And it started getting messed up as soon as I started uh, launching Android apps. So I'm gonna try doing this one with no Android on it. And um, hopefully it works. I just wanted to show you kind of like the fluidity of how things work on here. Open the files app. It just kind of runs good. Um, the Android apps all work good, and I wanted to show you that, but I'm not going to risk it again. Now, 
I have a mouse plugged in to this thing using a USB-C dongle, and that's why it looks like a regular Chromebook. But when you don't have a mouse plugged in, it switches into a tablet interface, and it kind of just gives you the full screen of the normal app launcher that you normally get instead of your desktop, and all the apps open up full screen, and you can kind of pin them off to the side, kind of like on an Android tablet. And really, when it's in tablet mode, the whole thing reminds me of an Android tablet. But uh, for basic web apps, everything on here works pretty good. Uh, pretty similar to what I noticed on my Chrome OS Flex devices. This one might be a little slower than my Asus laptop, though. Um, but all in all, like, it's a usable tablet. And a lot of the Android applications work. One thing I could not install is Minecraft. Uh, that may or may not be important to you. Uh, my kid likes Minecraft, and sometimes we play together. And I can't put it on this particular device. But, yeah, so, I was just going to show you this. I, I actually had this huge, nice video, and it died. So hopefully this one works. You'll find out soon. So I think I mentioned that I had also gotten a keyboard case for this thing. It looks like this. This thing was like $30, maybe, 25 or 30 I don't remember exactly. And um, it feels kind of sturdy, but... It's not that great. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show it to you more in depth. Let me plug the pad into it. All right, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed here, but this thing does not go in easily. Well, it's going a little, a little easier this time that I kind of know it, but not only was it a little difficult to get in, um, it was also really hard to get out. And actually, when I was trying to take it out earlier, um, part of this corner of the screen here popped out of the bezel of the thing and luckily i was able to push it back in but that's kind of a tells you something about the build quality of this thing like just taking it out of this keyboard case uh, caused damage to it so anyway it kind of just sits on there and you get it in the pens i guess and um it took me a few times to actually get it to where it would register but it looks like I got it first try on this one. But I would have liked to for this to automatically switch into the desktop mode whenever you plug a keyboard into it. But it doesn't. It's still in the uh, tablet mode. Now, as far as being an actual keyboard, let me just um, start a document here. Because it actually types fairly good, especially for a, such a cheap keyboard. It doesn't feel that bad. It's a reasonable size deal. It sounds nice. So I don't have any problems with the actual functioning of the keyboard, but um, you can't adjust the angle of it or anything. It only sits at one angle. And like I said, it's kind of hard to get the tablet in and out of it. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if you had this thing and you really needed a keyboard, even though this one's only $30, you'd probably be better off just getting some Bluetooth type of deal, in my opinion. I don't think it's worth the $30 or $20 or $10. Maybe if it would have just been an add-on on the box, that would have been good. But um, I'm, I'm not overly impressed with the keyboard. I mean, it works. It types nice. It feels good. But you can't adjust the angle. And the uh, mechanism for holding the tablet itself is not that great. Now, there was also a uh, stylus available for this tablet that I ordered as well. I think it cost $20 maybe. But it has not come in yet. The tablet and the keyboard actually took about three weeks to get here, uh, which I thought was a long time, but I'm used to buying stuff on Amazon and it showing up in a day or two. Um, so whenever that stylus finally comes in, I'll check that out too. But all in all, I paid $99 for the tablet, and between 20 and 30 for the keyboard. So it's a pretty cheap setup. And quality-wise, you can tell it's cheap but it's not that bad it kind of reminds me of like an amazon fire tablet in terms of quality the performance is reasonable it's a little slower than this asus laptop i that i put chrome os flex on but not too much um oh i, I let me show you something here i did run that browser benchmark speedometer on this and it got a blistering 28.6 which is i would not say a respectable score but, I mean, it is what it is. What do you expect for such a cheap device? So anyway, that's the tablet, the Chromebook 10e from Lenovo. Um, 
it's not bad. Like, I wouldn't have bought it if I wasn't going to make a video about it for the channel. But if you just needed something, some kind of Chromebook, you, know, you didn't have an old laptop to put Chrome OS Flex in it, for the price, it's reasonable. I mean, I think originally this thing was 300 bucks or maybe 350 And internally, I think it has the same specs as another Lenovo one that was popular a while ago called, uh, I think it was a Chromebook Flex something. And um, so if it was just going to be your only casual computer and you didn't have a lot of money to spend it's not bad um, it's kind of a cool toy to play with um so yeah not really a whole lot much to say about it if there's anything you want me to test on that thing just let me know and i will as i said and whenever the pen comes in i'll test to see how good that works i really just wanted to see what um real chrome os was like versus chrome os flex now i kind of know and so yeah that is my initial look at the chromebook 10e from lenovo oh i didn't do a unboxing video just because to me those aren't interesting i don't like watching someone open a box but all that was in it was the uh, tablet and a charger and a cable that's it pretty spartan so yeah that's my look at the chromebook 10e let me know what you thought if there's anything else you want me to try let me know and uh until next time hope you like the video hope you subscribe and i hope you have a good day bye now there's one more thing I just now noticed that I wanted to show you. As soon as I plugged a mouse in using that dongle, it switched away from tablet mode and into a more traditional Chrome OS tablet mode. So I was uh, pleased to see that. So now I know if it's a, if you have a uh, mouse and you plug it in, it'll turn into kind of a regular Chromebook. So the mouse is kind of what differentiates it from tablet mode to regular mode. Anyway, I just wanted to add that to the end because I just figured it out. Anyway, thanks again for watching.